Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Cox. So today I wanted to do some writing with you. So today in writing, I want you to think about how you can tell a story. And today you're going to actually think about a story that maybe you just wrote or maybe you already wrote it. And you're going to be thinking about adding to it. And we're going to add some fun things today. So today, we're going to look back at what we did last time. And we're going to look at our story that we started last time. And we're going to add more. So last time that we had a writing lesson, we thought about how we can think and plan. Something that has happened to you. So you're going to think. You're going to say it out loud. Say what happened. Say what happened first and second and third. You might think this happened first, next, then this happened, and then last, then this happened, and then you're going to write about it. So we drew a picture and we wrote about it. We used pictures, letters, words, and sentences. I was telling a story about going in my car to the pumpkin patch and then being at the pumpkin patch and then finding the best pumpkin. And I actually, I wrote it in my language arts notebook. I'll show you. So here's my page. And here's my first part of my story. I wrote a number one so I can remember that this was the first part of my story. And I drew my picture of my car and I said, drove to the pumpkin patch. And I used my sound spelling to think of what letters I was going to write for those words. The next thing that I said was page two. I wrote a two. And I said, so many pumpkins. I drew a picture and I wrote words. It's so important to write the words so we know what's going on in your picture. What's going on in your story? On my third page, I drew a picture of me and I'm holding a pumpkin and I wrote the word best. Best. Now, today, I want to add more to my story. I want to add some more details. So details means that I'm going to ask some questions and I'm going to see if I can add some more information, some more words to my story. I don't really want to add more to my picture. I can, but I really want to think about my words. Hmm. So like on this one, I have a question. What kind of pumpkin did I find? What was the best pumpkin? I wrote best. Maybe I should talk about it. So what was the best pumpkin? The best pumpkin that I found I'm going to add some more words, was big. Ooh, can you help me spell that? Big. Maybe I should say it was big, or it is. Let's use is. No, let's use it was. Was. I have to decide what words I want to use before I put them on paper. So I'm going to say it was big. Maybe I'll do a little bit more and I'll say what color it was. Yeah, it was big and orange. That would be an excellent sentence to say what the best pumpkin was. It, ooh, that's one of our sight words. We've already learned that word. I'm going to start with an uppercase I because it's the beginning of my sentence. It's the first letter. So first letter of the sentence, I always want to start with an uppercase. It, t, 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 that's a T. It, was is a little bit tricky. I'm going to help you guys out with that one. Was is W, A, S. We're going to be learning that one soon. Was, it was big and orange. Big, we're working on big. Help me sound out big. Let's stretch it out. B, I, G. What's that first sound? B, B. That's a B. B, B, B. I, 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 I. 
it's an I, yeah. B I G G. Ooh, that sounds like a G, doesn't it? Big. There's a G. Big. It was big and. I um, know that word because that's one of our sight words. A N D. It was big and. I wanted to say orange. Can you help me spell that one? Or. I kind of hear like an O. Or. Kind of sounds like an R, doesn't it? Orange. Orange. That sounds like an N, doesn't it? Orange. J. J. That sounds like a J. Orange. I'll write the dictionary spelling right below it in case you want to know and see it. Orange is really spelled that way. But this is our sound spelling, and that was great. There's one more thing that I'm missing from my sentence. What goes at the end? A period. That little dot at the end. So we added a whole sentence that gives a new detail. All right, I want to add one more thing. I want to add me saying something. So what I'm going to do is on this page where I said when we got to the pumpkin patch and there were so many pumpkins, I want to say something. Maybe I want to say something and Mom. it's like a quote. Hold on, little man. What are those fairies to be? Oh, Stephen's interrupting. Hey, I'm doing a little lesson. Can you be quiet for a minute? Thank you. So I want to say, wow. Um, I want to say something like, what did I say when we went to the pumpkin patch? No, say. What did you say, Stephen, when you went to the pumpkin patch? Oh. Oh. Let's write that. So Stephen, I know how to write his name. Stephen, you could use anyone's name. You can ask them or you can give their name a try. Stephen said, there's the word, word said. That would be a great word for you to use in your writing today too. Said, Stephen said, I'm going to use something special. Two little lines. That tells the reader that this is something that they said out loud. Ooh. <laughs> and I'm going to give it an exclamation mark because he said it with some feeling. And then guess what? I'm putting two little lines up in the air. And they go around what's said out loud. So it's Steven oh, said, oh. oh. You could wow. say... I said, wow. I mean, car. Nope, not right now. Go get your own markers. All right. So if we said, Stephen said, ooh, I said, wow. It would be fantastic for you to add a quote. What did somebody say in your writing? And also giving a little bit more details. You can ask those questions. Like, what did you do? What happened next? Where were you? If you want to add details, it's great to ask questions. You can ask yourself those questions. All right, so today I want you to look back at something you've already read, wrote. And you're going to be thinking about adding more details and seeing if you can add a quote. All right. Have fun with your writing today. Remember, don't copy mine. You do your own idea. I want to hear what's something that's happened to you. Don't do something that's happened to me. What's happened to you? All right. Have fun.